everyone, and welcome back to the Funk Cafe. I told you I'll be back, and I'm back. Clean and sleeve some records, playing them, enjoying them, like I'm sure we all do, especially on a weekend, if we're off from work, which I happen to be. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So with that said, why well, was uh, digging on the shelves? Uh, I bought an album out I haven't played in a while. And it's from a group called Smash. I remember a long time ago, I might have saw only one person show this record. I, I, I think I might have seen my man Secretary of Funk Band show this record. And a record I'm talking about is a group called Smash. Now, this album was first released in 1977 in Germany. And this group went on to become two hot groups in the 70s and 80s in the US. So this one group ended up becoming two successful groups in the U.S. Now, they are U.S. citizens. They are born and raised here. But this was released over in Germany first on Source Records. I remember when I saw this album, I knew just by the cover it was something special. I got this record back probably about 80, 81. And the reason this record caught my eye, first off, you can't deny that cover. But it was another record that I knew about and bought before I got this record that I would say kind of leaked me to think this record was going to be special too. And I pulled that record to show. The Ventures of Captain Sky. <laughs> Can you see that superhero type thing going on here? And this was, was released in 78. Which when it released, I bought it in 78. The Adventures of Captain Sky. Yes. Everybody know Wonder Worm. Everybody know Super Spawn. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic funk album. Now, to get back to Smash, like I said, this group produced two very popular groups groups that I'm also going to show. But I'm going to read this bio at the bottom and then we're going to continue. It said, Source presents a unique young group, Smash, first releasing in Germany in 1977. This album hit the top in the West German Swiss music circles. The group from Michigan and Ohio 
now have a chance to work their music charisma on a new audience. This album is, I would say, funk driven. Funk driven. And listening to the music that they went, uh, went on to do after this album is totally different than what you would hear on this. This is like some funky stuff right here. So, I'm going to show you the first group and that group is Switch. Everybody know that there never be. You put a switch on me. It's so real. Somebody's watching you. And if you know anything about Switch, you know it was made up of some DeBarge brothers. Tommy DeBarge, Bobby DeBarge. And of course, Gregory Williams. So now, you know where I'm going, don't you? Because I mentioned what? The DeBarge. So, of course, all this love to the barge. Now, I'm going to go back to Smash. Here's Smash. It was Stanley Hood, Andre Arbney. Marty DeBarge, Randy DeBarge, L. DeBarge, and Arnett Hayes. But it had a lot of uh, musicians on this album. And of course, uh, Gregory Williams, vocals, trumpet, as he played in Switch. And, man, let me see. Another name. Stanley Brown, vocals. Bobby. There was another. Tommy. And somebody else I recognized on here. Oh. Uh, Somebody else's name I recognize on it, but I can't see it right now. But also reading the back of this album, uh, where did I see that at? Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, here it is. Recording studio, Al Recording Studio, Columbus, Ohio. So, this was recorded at Al Recording Studio in Columbus, Ohio. It's amazing how something can be recorded, but end up being big overseas. Because according, this was going big up in Germany, you know, But we was getting switch in the bars. Now, granted, this was released in 77. And I would like to know, put it in the comments, did anybody know this album in 77? On its release date. 
I'm gonna be honest, I didn't. It escaped me. Like I said, I picked this up like in like 80, 81, something like that, if I can remember. But I was playing the hell out of these albums. And let me say, this album was released. This was 78. If I don't remember right, this was released like 80. Eighty-two, yeah. So eighty-two, and I remember picking that up. Party round, yeah. Eighty, eighty-two, maybe. And that's when I kind of started linking this together. I forgot all about that till I just went back and pulled, smashed, and played it. Funky stuff, funky stuff. And like I said, Captain Sky. <laughs> was the, the 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 thing that definitely when I saw it just made me pull it. I just like that, you know. Well, like I said, this uh, now yeah, because even though it says release in seventy seven, this cover and everything was printed here in the USA in seventy nine. So that's pretty wild. So, do anybody know about Smash? If you do, leave me a comment. Captain Sky? You don't hear people talk about Captain Sky. Not a bad funk album. Captain Sky. But that's another story. <laughs> yeah. But I just thought I'd drop that. Uh, I pulled that shit. Man, I ain't played it in a while. I played it. Sounds terrific. And also played to the barge and switch. You know, first album as switch here, first album as the barge here, and just great music all the way around. So, if you know these, if you know these records, to me, I would say get to know the humble beginnings, which became this well that's all I have for now I don't know if I might be back chances are no but I hope you enjoyed this because I enjoyed uh, rediscovering and pulling that record playing it and just thought I'd share that with you but if you do know about Spanish let me know and you, like I said when that camera's on you're welcome here in the Funk Cafe. I'm your man, DJ Funk. And you know what I'm about to say. I'm out.